We are back playing Bone Razor Minions. It's been a bit, and by a bit I mean almost the smallest quanta of time in a streamer's world, which is um, one segment. Hang on, how the hell do I? Again, there's no. Wait, what'd you make this game in? Because I got no icon in my in my Windows toolbar. There it is. It exists. We'll play game. It's made a game maker. First time I've ever heard about a game being made in Game Maker. Um, do we have any heroic souls to spend? I don't remember what the heck I was doing. <laughs> we have Bone Razor lore. I recall this. We've already maxed these levels. Holding J while stationary charges a super dash. Thou can buy Class Heritage Meta for 3333 gold coins. I don't know what that means, but I'd love to have the option. You know what? I'm a pretty simple man. I will simply max out everything that I see, knowing that the meta eventually is that you'll have it maxed out. That sounds great. Um, sod off. I need my hero souls. Holy cow, I started with like five dudes this time. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Nintendo eShop Music, place me right there. There's, there's great Game Maker games. Hotline Miami's a Game Maker game. Saw someone in chat say Hotline Miami's kind of mid. It's an insane thing. You weren't around 10 years ago, okay? Hotline Miami changed my, changed my life. Fuse two barrow boners into a digger. Who sharpen spade also diggy diggies up goodies. Beautiful. Okay, but do you do any damage? Hollis to Hollywood, but is it good? Because there's like a large man here, and uh, and and the thing is, he's 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 gonna hurt me pretty good if he gets close to me. So I, I'm gonna need you to actually like do some damage at some point. Let me let me get a an eggy, bro. Listen, I'm not I'm not that worried about survival immediately. Seems like a great time to get an egg. And then a spell? Bodily fluids. All enemies shall become gooey gem slimes. Understood. Understood. <laughs> and then we just walk around. Then we just squeeze right by you. <clears throat> is this another Vampire Survivors like? Indeed it is. Give me a boozy bomber. Maybe we need some AoE. Vampire Survivors is so funny to me. I still, like, for someone who played that game, you know, relatively early on in its lifespan, I, uh, it's stunning to me that people have strategies for that game. Something about, like, the, maybe just the fact that you're inundated with so many choices is, like, my horny ass could never keep a coherent through line on, uh, on Vampire Survivors strategy. I just, I, I look at three options and then I just say, chat, what the hell should I take? This exquisite rare jewel boosts thy score, however thy max health is reduced. Why the hell? I don't want that! I don't care about my damn score! It's, it's irrelevant to me. An unknown necromancy. Raise a fresh zombie bro, whose infected bite can bite raise fresh human zombie bros. Okay. Understandable. Have a great day. Excuse me, I did not discover the game. I saw um, Splattercat Gaming tweet about how much he was enjoying a little game called Vampire Survivors. And I said, you know what? I'm in need of some variety. It'd be nice to give it a chance. And then I played it and I said, wow, this is right. This is really good. Let me get a... Let me upgrade my Jester. I'm usually like the the third or the fourth step on the on the indie game the popularity pipeline. Splattercat or or Retro or somebody like that, they surface it. They make 25 videos on it before I've ever heard of it and then I go, "Well, it must be good." And then I try it and I go, "Hey, I don't know if anybody else had this thought, but this is pretty good." Sap is a noted exception, that's for sure. 
an unknown spell. Get a random Clashful card. If you already have all cards in it, shall heal instead. Um, another chest already? Thank you so much. Let me, I'll, I will take a, a level 3 Jester. Holy cow. Give up my Jester for a, a bigger Jester? Demonic Jester. He transforms all around. Even you? Okay, this is getting... It's a little much. Running speed of minions has been boosted by 20%. Hang on, just start eating some spells out here. That gave me a new card. This transforms everyone into slimes. Who drop gems. Oh. I don't even remember what my last scroll does. Give me this. Blood and Cloak. Every three seconds you lose two health but gain a bone. Okay, I haven't really done a great job of um, selecting appropriate relics thus far, I would say. It's okay. <laughs> Two health for one bone? Kind of a kind of a shit deal, I Ah Kind of a shit deal, I think. Help me, help me, help me. I gotta remember the devil's on my side. Gimme 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 another boozy bomber. There's a skull next to the fountain. Good point. Good good intel. We got meld raising. I don't want to lose tier three units if possible. Mad mages. Give me, give me the pistol ear. Give me the. You know what? Let's go full bone build. I don't know. Maybe, maybe even though we we're losing health, I've been transformed into a damn snowman. What am I supposed to do? We are gaining health back as long as we kill human foes near the the, the blood well. This is it's too much. It's crazy. Give me um. Give me a shroom bro to poison enemies. Give me a spell that um, makes chests appear. And kill humans near my blood fountain, please. I'm gonna need that occult health in order to keep myself uh, pogged up here. Okay, careful, these chests could be mimics. Not a mimic, because it didn't unlock in negative 10 seconds. That's beautiful. I'm a snowman again. I'm not I'm not really thrilled with what my jester has done for me th thus far. Spooky ghosties shall transiently accompany thy legion. Okay? We're we're getting a lot of certainly getting a lot of rewards here in a very short amount of time. Oh, okay, that one's a mimic. I would like some ghosts, please. I need to cast my spell and give me this. Boost spawn rate of mini beasts, basically. Well, this is how these games always go, though, right? It's like, I feel like everything's going great right now, but then one enemy will show up and then, you know, tap me two times. Meanies shall suffer upon them the curse of death. In. Raise. You know what? Give me, we'll go DPS build. We'll raise a, a witch. The witch will make my sniper pistolier that much better. Ooh, 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 I can't be stopped. Okay, easiest boss of all time. Just just keep the pistolier close and it's all over. I mean, this is a joke. Nice try. Embarrassing. Give me my rewards. Soul Blades. If any of thy melee minions kills a meanie, then there's a 22% chance it'll spawn a spooky ghost friend, though. Thank you for the intel on this, by the way. Ooh, and another? This I was just gonna say it feels like a mimic. I can't help but unlock it because I'm a snowman. It was not a mimic. Dude, I don't know. I feel like our team is crazy strong here. All meanies shall suffer the poisoning effects of blight, slowly damaging them and slowing them at low health. Seems seems nice. Seems fantastic. Level 3 Witch Bone Bolster. I'm, I'm also stunned when I look at chat and people are like, your zombies are doing a lot of work. This is complimentary, not derogatory. How can you follow that? 
That's it's it's incredible to me the your your visual bandwidth. Like I'm I'm in no danger of of understanding why my run is going well right now. <laughs> Cause you pick zombie once, but you got like seven. I'll take a second. Oh no, the chupacabra is pretty sick too. Do I have seven? I guess it's the those are the dudes with the purple hats. The ones with the it looks like they got a fish on their head. Dude, we are we are chilling. Let me get um yeah, I'll give up two little lads for another dig lord. Thou can re-roll an extra six times. Oh, it never ends, man. Unleashes a vampiric bat swarm from the mausoleum doors. I'm considering converting to Satanism. Have you ever had a pet bat? Isn't um another sniper? Absolutely, even at the cost of two level threes. Um, isn't Satanism just like, um, help me? It's just like atheism, but you love to argue even more? I watched a documentary about Satanism on Netflix. Seemed like, you know, nice individuals that also just like to get into arguments for things that I agree with, but just can't be fucked, honestly. <laughs> I was not like, uh, I didn't watch the documentary and go, oh, I disagree with them at all. I watched the documentary and I went, better you than me, guys, better you than me. Sure, I think oh, bold boulders do a lot of damage, but maybe Lightning Storm is a little more hands off. Let's take an auger. I did also like that all the Satanists in the movie dress like it was the Matrix. Blast enchanted confetti that confuses all minis. Thou shall be graced with random spells. I don't want random spells, I want to use the, the spells I already got. Hey! Help me! Just yeet him. Two random relics, sign me up, yeet him. A flesh larva and the occult artifact. What is happening, dude? Give up three zombies for a super zombie? Two pistoliers for a, a big pumpkin head? I'll, I'll give up three zombies for a super zombie. Big zomboid who vomits rot and can bite rays. People told me my, my zombies were poggin', so... We take those. Thou have unlocked a new card, the Wizard Sage. Anybody gotta uh, explain like I'm five on what a uh, on, <laughs> on what a uh, I don't even remember what I was gonna ask. Oh, on what cards do? Nobody knows. All right. I mean, I don't really want to give up two pistoliers, but they, if we're giving up two pistoliers for it, we gotta be. It's gotta be worth it, right? Mighty Manipulor. Brain melds meanies to your call, cause before meld is exploding. Boost the chance to bone raise melee minions. It's it's madness. There's a triple triad style game in the game. They thought of everything, man. I would like to. I kind of like the merchants, honestly. I don't know if it's good strategically, but... Oh! Spell me? I don't remember. I don't know. The spell was HP. Okay, that seems good. Give me more haste. I'm still doing okay. We're taking a little damage. You gotta take... You gotta spend money to make money. I don't even know what that one I just casted was. There's still hearts on the screen, though. That's good. And scrolled spell. Um... Sure, give me, give me a get out of jail free card when we get surrounded. Give me a level three haster. Give me, oh, I rerolled by accident. Give me two free relics. Send some bombs out. Oh! I remember this guy. I remember this guy. We can take this guy. Nearby meanies shall suffer the blight of meld rot. 
Oh, he's... Look, dude, look at the damage! He's toast! On-screen beast meanies are temporarily tamed. Oh, no, wait, I didn't beat him last time. I, I died with one hit remaining, I remember. Because I think I dodged into the wall by accident. Nice try. Nice try, idiot. Ooh, that was kind of close. You'll never catch me. You'll never catch Look at how fast I am. You're never going to catch me. Juked. Okay, this is now a new personal best. Boost the chance to bone raise ranged minions. So we have a boosted chance for range and for melee. Each bone raise can raise a barrel boner. You guys are catching all this, right? Because I may have to ask you some questions in the future. <laughs> okay, we have to choose something to raise for once. I'm going to raise the Skewerer, who I've been told has great DPS. Ooh! Well, we, we, there's no point in even using our spell, because there's no beast to tame right now. You have unlocked a new class, the Vampire Survivor. Well, you know, people have been asking in chat if it's, if it's similar at all to that game. So, personally, I don't see the similarity. Any similarities to those living or dead are completely by accident. I would love to strike down some lightning every four to six seconds. With 30 to 50 feral hogs. I'm going to die. I'm a snowman. They dropped a bomb on top of me. Make my skewerer better. Help me. Help me at all. I'm dead. <laughs> Most destructive minions. Okay. My my best minion was the, the super witch. Pistolier did well. One pistolier did well, at least. You also won a card. Score has put us in the top 20,000. Okay, local high score at first. Is the game enjoyable? It looks like madness. I think if you give yourself up to the, the mechanics, yes. Maybe we should become the vampire survivor. Thou art the last of thy bloodline. Don't speak to me. Plus the music goes hard, man. This Undertale song? This is Toby Fox's Undertale B-Sides. The heck is this guy? Belled Bone Bolster. Oh, our Jingle Bell minion gets leveled up. This is He just knocks enemies back. Oh, that's our garlic. Right? Right? Do something? Yeah, he seems pretty good. I mean, we do find ourselves surrounded by enemies from time to time. Give me a level three. Toby Fox really do be like, here go two more for y'all. Thanks for supporting me, here go two more for y'all. But Toby Fox, his oeuvre is like the opposite of the deluxe LP. He does not wait till two weeks after he dropped the album to give you two more tracks. He waits for like 10 years. I'll make my boozy, my boozy bomber a little better. Did he actually do the music on this? No, I don't, at least I don't think so. It just, you know, it's got a certain little, it, it, it is a little Foxian, wouldn't you say? I will. Gonna raise a boo bro. Why not? It is beeping and booping. Yeah, the game is four bucks. It's, it's, I mean, I know it's pretty steep when Vampire Survivors was, was three bucks, but I mean, given that we've had inflation at the level that we've had for, I don't know, like 18 months now, I, I think that, like, in a per capita basis, it's pretty reasonable. I will bone bolster thee. 
I'm trying to keep an audit of what I got here. I've got a level three. Oh! <laughs> I've got a level three garlic and I've got a level three bomber. Potted plants conjures falling falling brethren every four to six seconds. Boosts the pot bro bone raise cap by one. Okay, of course. So we're gonna have up to two pot bros now. Seth Rogen and James Franco. Only hold the James Franco now that I think about it. Item rerolls. Okay. I, I don't know how many, but you know what? That's for them to know and me to find out. By the way, I did see Seth Rogen, um, the picture of Seth Rogen at the Oscars. A lot of people uh, tweeted it to me. Take a first pot, bro. I, I can't deny that I believe Seth Rogen has been taking care of himself. I still think I clear him in a fight, but I will say that, that uh, maybe we have to revisit that six months from now. I think I clear him for now. Thou shalt transform into a snowman. He saw the video. <laughs> Dude, I already got Bellingham on my ass. I can't have Seth Rogen on my ass. There's like too much local... There's too much heat on me locally. Okay, well, we know the sniper was great for us last time. So give, I will trade two level threes for a sniper. It's a little spicy, but guess what? I'm a snowman now, so I can just chill for a little bit. Where do you think he lives? Well, I know he lives in LA, but he's probably back from time to time. Note, note to self, don't talk shit about Nathan Fielder. After the internet comes for your ass, you might just, you know, find him at Jam Cafe for brunch one day. You gotta answer for your crimes. Whenever offered a bone raise, if thou choose the bottom option, you get an extra reroll banish or seal. Holy cow, that seems, seems pretty good. Ooh, one extra reroll. I have tamed the rats. That's why I don't talk shit about Joe Biden. Man, I don't like any of these. I'll take the egg. I guess if I don't like any, I should take the bottom. Let's be realistic, like with no disrespect. If you live in Delaware, the only thing you should be worried about talking shit about is like a uh, a numbered corporation that is headquartered there for tax purposes. You could pretty much shit talk like any individual in the United States. What are the odds that they actually have a residence in Delaware? Like, you know, less than 0.5%. But be careful, because if you start, you know, coming for the corporations, I don't know, probably like 20% of American public companies are, are headquartered in Delaware. And Aubrey Plaza as well, apparently. Yes, Aubrey Plaza as well. I'll take... You know what? I think we want wax humans, so if we get overwhelmed here... We can just pop this scroll and be like, you know, we're okay. Gives us a little time. Because we, we don't have great DPS right now. Okay, that bought me about negative 12 seconds. Oh! The greatest dodges in Vampire Survivor's clone history. Okay, we, we desperately need some units that attack. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take a level 3 bone bolster for now. But I, I'm pretty sure that we got like two units that are actually going to be doing damage to this boss. So we're going to have to have perfect dodges forever. Hang on. If we can get one level up, at least get a little extra DPS out of here. I'm scared. I'm scared. Maybe I'm okay to... Oh! Holy cow. I, I can't pro I can't pro I'm sorry I can't process it. <laughs> I couldn't my my brain just said I can't do that right now and I said all right fair enough. <clears throat> all right, run me back. Hey, what the hell? Check the vampire skill tree. Let me, let me let me build a run first here, then we'll take a look at it. 
again, it's like, you know, just because you get a big burger on your plate, here's the thing. I'm not, I'm never, there's a constant in life. I'm never unhinging my jaw to eat a hamburger, okay? So if you serve me a burger that's 15 inches tall, I'm taking a little bite of like the bottom bun and then I'm moving up as much as I can. And then it's like patties one to three clearly missed. And then I'm getting a slice of Havarti and a slice of Swiss. Then I'm getting one bite that's basically just salad because it's all the toppings. It's the best that I can do it, okay? So like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna give me a burger that's that tall, you can't tell me to, to unhinge my jaw. We'll, we'll take it piece by piece. We're gonna modularize it. Let's get a big coiler. Do, do some electric work here. I'm so happy that the world is, is coming around to this, you know, thick burgers are too much take. Because it was not a popular take for a while. I was, I've been saying it since 2013, maybe even earlier. Pumpkin, bro. And people were like, you know, minus two, just eat the burger. Why are you complaining? You know, you complain about everything. And there's some truth to that, I suppose. But I don't complain about a small burger. Very rarely have I gotten a burger and been like, this is too small. I honestly, for, for a while there, I just stopped ordering burgers. I'll take the level three coiler. Because I, you never knew whether you were going to get something that was like a reasonable size. Not even like from a calorie standpoint, just from like a, I don't want to pull a tendon in my mandible. So sliders? No, I'm just like a, just like a normal burger. Because we've gone from like, like normal burger used to be like, I always think of like the McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese. It's not as small as a McDonald's cheeseburger. It's not as big as a Big Mac. But they went crazy, man. Like, especially once pubs started to open up on like every corner, once other businesses all faded after the global financial crisis. They, every, every single brew pub just started offering, it, like the classic burger was like, a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese, but then they're like, with the 17 paper towel burger, it's got 15 patties, it comes served with a toothpick shoved through a Bloody Mary, and then that Bloody Mary has a corn dog on top of it. Like, it just, it got to the point where it, it was just ridiculous. I would love to get a boned magnet, thank you. So I'm... I'm happy that I think we've moved back to maybe at least more people are open to the idea of a, a, a more reasonably sized hamburger. I wouldn't even mind, like, if, if you're, we've experimented with tall burgers, some of them work, some of them don't. I would love to have, like, what about just a wide burger? Nobody's ever experimented, really, with raising the circumference of the burger. They just put more and more toppings on it. If the patty is great, Give me, give me a, a like a, a plate-sized hamburger that's only like, you know, half an inch tall or something like that. I'd be into that. I'd at least give it a try. I don't want big sledgehammer yet. Give me, give me skewer. I'd eat my burger the long way. But I did, I really, like... We don't go out to eat that much anymore, partly because we have to justify our Costco membership and partly because every restaurant we go to needs to have um, parking, ample seating, high chairs available, and then like something that a two-year-old can eat without complaining too much. But even before we had uh, our daughter, I was like a once every five years order a hamburger type of guy. It would have to be like, the, I would really have to have a craving. I would order a sandwich from time to time for sure. But the burger had to, it had to be right. Hang on. Daemonic coiler, pain storms of electro blasts and bolts. Melee minions drain life force. We should give it a try, I think. Or may early treasure chests have a chance here. No, I've had a lot of burgers in my life, but like... Well, here's the thing. When I first started going to restaurants, like, by myself or with my friends as a teenager and a young adult, I got the burger, like, every time. Because I thought that's what adults did. Then, when I stopped being such a picky eater, I started ordering things that were actually in, like, the entree section instead of sandwiches and burgers. Started experimenting a little bit more. 
And then I just, I didn't really see a good reason to go back to the burgers at most places. Some places they got a, they got a heck of a burger, but, um... 10% chance human meanies drop a, a gem when they die. But now as an adult, I mean, I eat hamburgers on an annual basis, for sure. M mostly I would cook them at home. Even then it might be like two or three times in the summer. I would love to see a traveler. Thank you. Thank you. Can I see my traveler, please? For, for 50, we could buy anything. It, they're only spells, unfortunately. I like humongous gems because we're going to kill... Oh, get them all. Get as, get as many as you can. At a restaurant, I'm like... Uh, it's a very low chance I order the burger. Relatively high chance I, I get a sandwich if a sandwich is on the menu. I understand it's like a, a bit of a semantic difference, but I don't know. People don't seem to be making that many tall sandwiches. And if they do, they're very obviously lampshaded. It's called like the, you know, Burj Dubai Club sandwich or something like that. But sometimes you're just like, I'll take the cheeseburger, please. And it comes with like 15 onion rings under the top bun. And you're like, come on, man. What am I supposed to do with this? I, it's ridiculous. Haven't been to Subway in a while, for sure. I mean, like... <laughs> You're gonna make me say it. I think Subway is, like, pretty bad, but I like it more than the average person. The main thing that, that brought me to Subway was convenience. But um, there's been a, a, a few too many times, maybe. I already have one of these. Let's get that, then. That I've, that I've gone to Subway and I've had to wait in line for like six minutes to start making my sandwich. And that, at that point, I'm like, brother, I could just be in and out of the grocery store with, with bread and meat by then. I could be making my own sandwich for a fraction of the price. Oh my god, we're, we're cruising. Give me a card for free. Might as well. Of course, you know we're going to get heavily invested in the, in the triple triad. No, I, even like pre-ordering on the app doesn't work at some of the subways in Vancouver because they like we can't have nice things. So you, uh, some of them I've seen them with the racks for online orders, but uh, the a lot of the subways here got rid of the racks, and now you have to go up to the front and be like, um, "Hey, I placed an online order, but apparently like every subway subway franchisee of all time is insanely cheap, so the entire store is like manned by one 17-year-old who's making 15 sandwiches at the exact same time." No disrespect to the to the subway employee, by the way. I'm disrespecting the 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 franchisee here. Every five seconds, lose five score but gain a bone. Well, it's gonna make it hard to high score, but so be it. Like at least at the at the bubble tea shops, they usually got like one high school senior taking orders and then like one high school senior in the back working like seven blenders at the same time, keeping society functioning. But a subway, I mean like you you need at least like two people to make a subway work. Because one person follows a sandwich from start to finish. It's not Henry Ford's uh, production line, you know, where they're passing them off. Because then you got to reintroduce yourself to the... And then you reintroduce yourself to the... Ca you ever go to a subway and the cashier is like, what did you order? Is it... Do you want... I know I'm making my own sandwich. I mean, do you want me to punch the shit into the till too? It's crazy. Hang on. <laughs> Weirdo Warlock. Eye Popper Archer. Give me, give me, I mean, I, I would take a, let's give me a weirdo warlock, why not? You gotta, two to three workers at a subway. That's, that's, a, and I don't even know, there might be more in the back. Somebody's gotta be cutting up the produce, I guess, but. The subway's kind of in like a death spiral, right? Like nobody goes there anymore. Take some haste. Mimic chests are more likely to appear, but offer better goodies. Okay. 
Nobody goes there anymore, so they probably have, like, you know, no less desire to hire more staff because there's less demand. But then, you know, eventually everybody reaches a breaking point where you're like, oh, it's been 21 minutes to get my cold cut combo. I could have just, you know, eaten at a real restaurant by this point. If even I'm giving up on Subway, then then I think it's I think they're cooked, man. One orbital angry spirit that hurts meanies. Also, we can get a second flam. Well. Well, well, well. Hockey Jason, that's me. That's what they call me. You ever taste Quiznos? Yeah, I mean, Quiznos was like... It was better than Subway. Quiznos... Well, Subway walked so Quiznos could run. The metaphor doesn't really make sense, because Subway stole, like, the toaster oven idea from Quiznos. You know what the, the main marketing problem with Quiznos was for me? Is that at Subway, there's only two sizes. So you could trick yourself into thinking a six inches small, and then a 12 inch is regular. You're like, well, I'm not, I'm not a small, I'm an adult, so give me the regular. I'll take a foot long baguette stuffed with ingredients. But then Quiznos had like a six inch sub and a nine inch sub. And you're like, what the hell? I'm getting the large, but the large is three inches shorter than the Subway sub. Sure, it tastes better, but I'm not at the sandwich place or something that tastes good. I'm at it for like the maximum amount of like, uh, carbohydrates and cured pork products to shove into my gullet in, in a socially acceptable setting. Greatest dodge of all time. I'm in trouble. Help me. An unknown spell. Drains thy health, but you gain bones. Help me. I'll take a blue bro, please. Help me. We're actually fine. I can't believe it. I'd rather gain health and have my bone drained. Ain't that the truth, brother? I don't know, sandwiches are not really popping off here. Bowls definitely popping off. Help me. Oh! 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 Give me Lightning Storm, and then cast it as soon as you get a, a brief pocket of safety. I would love nearby enemies to be- No, actually, let's take Meaty Club, man. So I'm, I can smack some enemies myself. Let's turn this into true vampire survivors. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't unlock that, are you crazy? What's my other spell? Um... Okay, 50% chance of having a relic or spell scroll in a chest. Now that's good stuff. I need to do some damn damage. Let me get an archer, I guess. Hey, Valentine. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm down, down, died, dude. Down, died. Wow, we didn't pop off at all. That is not. Oh, it's local high score for this guy. Okay. Level this character. You regain health when standing still and not sucking off enemies. Bats emerge to celebrate when bone raising a fresh skelly minion. Your running speed is boosted near high health, but at low health it's slower. Touching enemies gives thee bones. Thou starting barrow boner becomes a bellow batty and boosts the chance of being offered baddies. 50% extra mausoleum bats whenever they shall emerge. But now our hurt vampiric bat matey shall emerge to defend thee. Sucking enemies boosts thy max health. Increasing max health also boosts suckage damage. Raising a baddie minion gives you a baddie swarm spell. Damage thou suffer is reduced near max health. Let's let's try that. Dude, I think we're I think we're ready to go then. I'm inclined to say, listen, I don't mean this in a negative way. There's too much shit in this game <laughs> to understand what's happening at the very least. Hello, Daniel. Hello. 
Hang on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get some bones by sucking the blood of these minions. Hello, Daniel. It is a, it's a good game. I mean, you don't see me in the Discord too much, popping in and saying, hey, if you guys are looking for something to play, uh, Bone Razor Minions is a great Vampire Survivors like. I only do that, you know, that's like a 1 in 20 game sort of situation for me. I'm just standing still. I mean, we, we, we gain health whenever we stand still anyway. Now, am I saying that it's got the longevity of something like a, a, a Spelunky 2, um, you know, try to get to 7.99? Probably not, but like for a, for a couple hours here and there, absolutely. Transform all hero souls pick up into spelliest hero souls, which gift a spell scroll in addition to the usual perks. I don't know, I'm gonna <laughs> need some help on that one. Sure, keep... I'm there. I mean, the more baddies we get, it's like every time we summon a baddie, like, the baddies give us more HP. Which allows our suckage to do even more damage. I don't know, we're kind of... we're eating them alive right now. We're feasting. It's certainly... It would, it's insulting to even say it's worth $4. Because, like, you, you can't get a lot for $4 in, in the modern day and age. And this is, this is well worth it. I thought we were on boss already, honestly. Get smoked? I played $5. I paid $5 for a shiny Jirachi. Is this, I, I, I know it's a Pokemon, okay? Cause I, I do still play Pokemon Go. And by play Pokemon Go, I mean open my phone while I'm walking around outside. Let me get a Jinx switch. But like, I, I don't understand the context, I suppose. Stand still for a second. Let's regen a little bit. It's Pokemon Go timed. Oh, timed research. I don't really mess around with that stuff. That's, that's, more, uh, that's more my wife's domain. Sure, I'll take an insane bat. Possess a level 3 bellow baddie whose leeching shrieks sin sonics of ear melty hurdy. Of course. Of course. Thou shalt be graced with item sealments or banishments. Of course. Boost thy dashing length and decrease the cooldown. That seems, that seems fantastic. A free sealment. Okay, I don't, that's a that's a reroll or no, that's a that's a shop freeze. I remember. Let me get a volt coiler. You're not gonna kill me. You would, wouldn't be caught dead dying to the likes of you. Sure, let's confuse nearby enemies. They're probably already getting confused because instead of running away from them, I'm running towards them, but. Marvelous chests appear. Drains thy health, but you gain bones. No, let's let's take magical chest. I sense a stranger draws near. These are just chests. I don't I don't want any of this garbage. Get out of here. I want to buy like some relics. Burrow where giant rats. Can I still can I suck the blood of a rat, or is that is that too dangerous? I don't mean in real life. I know it's probably frowned upon at least. Two little guys to get a a digger? Sure. Seems fantastic to me. I mean, what's the minimum amount of money? I mean, this is like a, a prickly question. But like as a kid, when I let's just say like when I was in eighth grade, okay? A dollar was an amount of money where you could reasonably expect to buy either like a, a, a bottle of soda or a bag of potato chips. I feel like that has changed over time, partly because I don't buy soda or chips as much. But it's definitely not, it's not a dollar, at least not in Canada anymore. Like if I was buying a bag of chips 
at a convenience store. I think I would ex I would expect it with without a, a hint of irony. I would expect it to be one sixty nine for for a bag of chips, two to three bucks now. Maybe, maybe we got maybe we got some deals over here for all I know. A Coke is two fifty nine. The three thirty boys or the five hundred boys. Give me the witch, please. The island boys. Oh right, I should be taking baddie minions. Two fifty nine for the three thirty boys. That's that's up there. You know why I feel like maybe soda inflation is higher than chip inflation though. So I feel like the chips are are still under two bucks for a, a single serving bag, and I mean like a real single serving bag, not a family size bag where you you're the whole family. These are these are spells. I don't want spells. Get get out of here. I guess I'll drain boner. One roaming ghosty and you can summon more booze. Okay. I don't even remember what this did. <laughs> it's gone. Another spell. Humongous bones. The bones are like humongous big. Then you look at Earth and we're like so small. Why you have to be mad? I don't know if I have any DPS except for me sucking the blood of my enemies, but it seems to be working out okay. As long as we don't get too greedy. Well, I can't use my spell because I gotta turn a treasure chest into a big treasure chest. I need a treasure chest to spawn in order for me to make it work. You're not wrong though, someone in chat typed, if you had five bucks back in the day you rode your bike to the gas station, you were feasting. Oh man. I mean, if you had any amount of money from a bill, like... I mean, you, you could buy chips, candy, and uh, and a drink. And have a little bit of change left over. Nowadays, if you got a $5 bill in your pocket, you go to a 7-Eleven, you pick up two things. They're like, they, they tell you the total, and you're like, hang on, let me get my card out of my wallet. Also, they're like, please sign up for the rewards program. And you're like, no, I'm not interested. And then they're like, no, 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 you'll save money if you do it. And I'm like, no, I'm really not interested. And then they're like, okay, fine. And then when they turn around the card reader, it says like, please enter your email address to join the rewards program. And you hit not interested. And then the clerk is like, no, for real, like you'll save money. Shit drives me crazy. Then it's like, enter a tip. <laughs> Okay, we have, I'm seeing that we have minimal DPS if I can't suck off a boss. It could have, it could have been worse, but it could have been better. I'll take them. Um, treasure chests are better. I mean, th brother, I don't think, I, next time we get a chest, I am, I'm holding that K button down. A chest, okay. I, I promised you. Oh, I, I think I had the wrong setup anyway. I thought I had the one that upgraded chess, but I think it just made the chess spawn. That must be a mimic. Confirm non-mimic. Ooh, that was pretty good. Precipitates a downpour deluge of flamey teardrops. Definitely feel like I should be casting spells all the time rather than just storing them and never using them. Tip culture has gone a little too far. Another reason that I, that I stopped going to Subway is that they finally succumbed to it, which is like, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's free money for most patrons, but like, now with like, they want you in and out of the store as fast as possible. They have the audacity to ask for a tip at the end. Here's, here's a tip. I'm gonna start making my ham sandwiches at home and saving $11. I don't mind tipping a, like a, a local business, but like tipping a, tipping a subway, it just seems like I'm contributing to the erosion of the character of my neighborhood. Okay, this is an important choice. 
Let me get, um... Let me get more electricity. It's not that they don't deserve it. I mean, they, they deserve it as much as the person who, like, you know, puts out your, your Starbucks order or something, but... 11% chance of releasing a sticky mess of soggy bottoms? No, actually, someone said NL crosses the border to go to Subway. One of the last times I went to Subway was in the US, and it was almost like the last straw. I was like, why is this place so fucking busy? Like, at the very least, in uh, in Canada, people have the good sense to not really go to Subway, which is why I find it so audacious whenever there's a lineup. But I went to, like, a, a suburban Subway in Blaine, Washington, and it had a lineup of, like, nine people. And I, it, it took half an hour to get our sandwiches. I was like, what the hell are people doing here? Blaine, what's going on? Everybody had their phone out. They were ordering like six sandwiches each. Nobody likes anything except the, the steak and cheese with four lines of mayonnaise. Like it's, it was out of control. Here's the thing. I, I need a pistolier, man. I hate to lose a baddie, bro, but maybe that means I can summon another baddie. Whenever you choose a bone raise relic or spell, you receive two seconds of iframes. Ooh, ooh, nothing wrong with that. It's kind of sweet with it. Last time I went inside the Papa John's, literally everyone beside me in the store was a door dasher. It's crazy. I'm people do be door dashing. I'm definitely I'm entering like my suburban dad arc. Like I, I can see myself transforming into the kind of guy who's like, you know, my daughter's boyfriend leaves the refrigerator open for like more than two seconds, and I'm like, what are you trying to do, kid? Cool down the whole neighborhood? Like I'm at this stage now where like I'll order a pizza and tip the pizza delivery driver, but like my ass is if if I'm gonna DoorDash something, I'm I'm using Uber Eats, and then I am choosing the pickup option, which incurs no extra fees, and I'm driving to the damn restaurant. I'm I'm regressing to like the 1990s, and honestly, I I like it. I like it. Wait, I got an idea. Get this guy, then I have iframes for two seconds. Go suck a dude. We're on the DoorDash arc again? No, the opposite. We're... Fuck DoorDash. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm gonna summon some bats. Why not just call the restaurant? I still don't like to, like, make a phone call if possible. At least, like, I, I genuinely think it's not just phone anxiety. But, like, there's... Because I made some good phone calls this week. Hi, uh, yeah, this is Ryan calling again. I'm just wondering about the application status. Uh, we applied for uh, daycare when our daughter was one day old. She's about six months out from turning three now, and she's aging out of her current daycare. I know you guys are busy. It would just be nice to get a status update. We're free anytime this week. I'll cancel all of my appointments to be graced with one second of your attention. Thanks so much. Here's my phone number. Um, I don't mind making a phone call. I just feel like... The app is a superior way to order food because it eliminates one possible mix-up, which is someone either not hearing me properly over garbled, like, 1920s phone in infrastructure, um, or alternatively, they're, like, half-distracted while I'm ordering because they're in a busy restaurant that's got a lot of shit going on, and then they're, like, you know, pretending to write it down, but they're not actually writing it down, etc., etc., I'll take helpful health hearts. So I feel like it would be awesome if like every website had, or if every restaurant had like their own website. That's not really realistic. So when if, if I'm ordering pickup on Uber Eats, at least like the menu has been digitized. And I'll, I'll eat the small, hopefully small upcharge. Or hopefully no upcharge, but probably small upcharge. 
Also, yeah, I mean, I, I think an online order is better for the restaurant in, in at least one way. In the sense that um, the employee doesn't have to actually take my order, which means that they have more time to take care of the stuff that they should do in the restaurant. You know, like checking on the patrons and taking in-person orders and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I smell a treasure chest here. I don't know if you can win this game, but I think we're going to win this game. I don't see I don't see what could lose it for us. You can? I don't know if I can win this game, but I <laughs> I think it's coming. I'm still I should I should keep sucking. Because these guys, when I get close to them, they get confused. So I can just I can suck Ah I was gonna say indiscriminately, but that's not true. We need to Well, I don't wanna say we wanna suck discriminately, because that's like I don't know, I think it opens us up to personal attacks! Run, brother! I need to use my scroll! Heart me? We get two seconds of invincibility. Let me get blue candle. Two seconds of invincibility to get a good suck going on. Lots of hearts spawns. Love to see that. Now, if I could just stand still, I could regen a little bit. Oh, dude, we're back! Yeah, I'll take a Joker, Jess. Oh, I should've said we gotta summon baddies, brother! Holy cow. What the heck is this? Ranged minions have a 22% chance to crit. I love that for me. Don't I have a sniper? It's, that seems... Hello! Oh! That seems great. Yeah, yeah, Jester me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Demon hole, a sinful aura that hurts meanies that are too close. That's exactly what I need in my life right now. I'm getting close to enemies on purpose. Oh, they're disappearing. Oh. Okay, that you did some damage to me, and and so what? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> he summoned the damn army, man. Yeah, well, we have a Hulk. <laughs> oh, man. Woohoo! Okay, and then suck him. I don't know if I should have done that, but I felt like I felt like a boss when I did it. We get two seconds of invincibility. We have no baddie. Give me a zombie. We have we have more than two seconds of invincibility. Give me another relic. Sure. Give me release a sticky mess. I ate him to death, dude! We're going yard! I still don't know what it means. Boost the attack speed of all demon minions. However, your max health's reduced a little bit. Not that big of a deal. I mean, I feel like we could dash through enemies and then bite them and they die in one hit and we get health off of that. That seems crazy. Like, maybe we even bite them like while we dash. I'm taking more hits than I thought I would. We're definitely confusing our foes, though. I mean, I feel like oh, the Paladin brothers are here. We have no, uh, we have no baddies. Let me raise a pot bro because I can. I just, I'm, I'm guilty of assuming that if um, I can only have one of something, it must be amazing. Dude, where our DPS is kind of crazy though. Like, we're doing just fine. I, if I had to guess, I'm gonna have to guess that you survive for 30 minutes to win. So we got a long way to go, but it's it's something. Oh no, cannonballs come from the west. Give me a lightning storm immediately, please. It's getting a little crowded in here. Make my Jester better. Can you, Jester, can you please reroll these incredibly strong units into units that are not as strong? It's getting a little spicy. Oop. Oop. Dude, it's so nice to just be able to walk through them because, like, enemies get confused when they get too close. 
Give three zombies for a big zombie. Absolutely. That gives me two seconds of invincibility to do some sucking. Ooh, nice try. I'm telling you, we're, go we're going yard here. Yes, another Joker Jester. I was told to have three of them. Corrupted Relic. 10% chance human meanies drop a spell. Three plus three seconds of iframes get sucked on, dude. And then Jester's Delight. That's another spell. Another three seconds of invincibility. Little, let me, excuse me, I need to use Jester's Privilege. And then I, I'm gonna, uh, yes, bolster my Jester. And then give me some space. I, I, I need to get the treasure chest, because if I get the treasure chest, I get invincibility. Yes, yes, yes. Um, all enemies become slimes. Oh! <laughs> Help me! I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh. 14,000. That was pretty good, though. A huge game. I'll take it. Please use Super Dash. I didn't, I hadn't unlocked Super Dash yet. I need the, it's this one, right? Where's, where's Super Dash? There's a local high score, it's true. It's on the wrong page. It's part of your class heritage? Nope, it's on your Bone Razor lore.